What are the benefits of the proposed euro corona bonds over conventional government bonds? This article describes the efforts of several European Union countries to agree to issue corona bonds or euro bonds, which are a joint EU mechanism to issue joint debt shared between different countries. This measure is being proposed in order to mitigate the economic impact of the coronavirus. It says, we need to recognize the severity of the situation and the necessity for further action to buttress our economies today. The heads of State of Italy, France, Belgium, Greece, Portugal, Spain, Ireland, Slovenia and Luxembourg said Wednesday in a joint letter seen by CNBC. We need to work on a common debt instrument issued by a European institution to raise funds on the market on the same basis and to the benefits of all member states, the nine heads of state said. Given that there doesn't seem to be any restriction on European Union countries issuing their own government bonds, what are the benefits of these new proposed instruments over this conventional measure? Expanding on the answer by Tin Nguyen, the euro is a common currency for nations with separate economic policies and separate national debts. Being a member of the eurozone stops nations from devaluating their currency to compensate for changing economic fundamentals. Before and during the 2007 financial crisis bonds from e.g. Greece or Italy had a risk premium compared to German bonds despite the fact that both were government bonds in the same currency. There were even signs that futures traders were driving this premium up by betting against certain governments, or on nations leaving the eurozone. The famous whatever it takes speech by Draghi calmed that. The financial consequences of the corona pandemic are not yet known, but it is clear that Italy and Spain will be hit hard. That will increase the risk on a default on national debt which increases the interest which investors demand. Of course that further hinders economic recovery. If the Eurozone members jointly guarantee bonds, that lowers the interest payments for the less stable economies and possibly increases the interest for the more stable ones. This might or might not be to the benefit of the EU as a whole, and the stronger members, individually, since they all benefit from a strong Eurozone, but the more or less clearly voiced suspicion is that Corona is used as an excuse to enact a permanent transfer mechanism.